Hi, my name is Wyatt Anderson. I work with American Implement. My name is Ethan McPherson. I'm also with American Implement. Today we're going to talk about 7R series tractors from John Deere that have several capabilities from ranching to dairy to row crop. All of those are going to have capabilities to have things on the front and back from hay balers to loaders to grain carts from behind it. Today we're going to talk about a lot of those possibilities. Yeah, and with those possibilities comes different needs for the tractor. That's why John Deere has released eight different models from 210 horsepower up to 350. That 210 starts with a 6.8 liter uh, single turbocharger engine and that an increase in 20 horsepower increments up to that 350 which has the 9 liter John Deere engine. Today we're going to talk about the 7R230 that we are going to be walking around today. Let's take a look at the front. Here we are at the front of the 7R230 we're going to be talking about today. We're going to start with your ballast weights on the front. They're easily easy to take on and off. If we wanted to move these away to the side, you'd be able to have a 700M loader on the front with a wide variety of options to add to the front from bale spears and buckets. A lot of guys from ranching to dairy to row crop are going to have a lot of options for that. You have a height of 15 and a half feet and can carry 7,200 pounds at that max height. As we look to the top, you're going to have several different visibility packages. Lighting wise, you're going to have select, premium, and ultimate. You're going to have halogens on the select, all the way to LEDs on the premium and ultimate, with the most LEDs being on the ultimate package. The mirrors are also going to have different options on your visibility packages. Select is going to have your more mechanical and your premium and ultimate are going to have electrical with the ultimate having telescoping mirrors. Ethan, would you mind opening up the engine yeah, bay? Definitely. And as we come up into the engine, the 7 Series provides a really nice assisted uh, hood open. And right here on the inside of the 7 Series tractors provides a nice diagram of your engine, your service points, to help you in your daily maintenance of the tractor. The 230, 250, and 270 engine provides a 6.8 liter John Deere engine that has two turbochargers to help get that uh, rated horsepower up. They also include a power bulge, so all John Deere tractors in the 7 Series provide a 10% power bulge for the help when you need to get up and over the hills in the field while you're planting or tilling or whatever your application may be. So as we go around to the back of the tractor, we'll take a look at the uh, draw bar and the PTO there in the back. As we look at the rear of the tractor, we're going to begin with the external auxiliary controls up here. This will provide you the ability to move up and down that three-point hitch along with your third SCV, so whatever is hooked into that, you'll be able to control from the rear of the tractor. Around here, there's also the external PTO switch. There's a safety switch engage that needs to be uh, engaged in the display console inside the cab before you're able to operate the PTO outside of the cab, though. As we move down, we're going to go to the three-point hitch first. On this tractor, we have a Category 3 three-point hitch that has a lift capacity of up to 15,000 pounds. We are also able to choose a Category 4 that can lift up to 17,000 pounds. As we move down to the draw bar, bar on here, we have a Category 4 draw bar, draw bar to assist when moving grain carts or slurry wagons for whatever your operation may require. As we move in here on the hydraulic side, we have an external sight glass that will allow you to check your hydraulic fluid level um, before you begin your days. As we start with our hydraulic, I'll give it to Wyatt so he may talk about that. Gallon per minute wise on the 7 Series tractors, you have from 43 to 59 gallon per minute. This item currently has 59 gallon per minute. You can get up to six SCVs. We have five right here. You have your auxiliary hydraulic output options as well. As we look lower, you have the ability to have a option of plugging in your fore and aft tilt on your hitch. We have it currently plumbed in the third SEV so that you can control from that side up and down to go forward and aft all while you're backing up to that implement or while you're already backed up to that implement. It's really great for when you're coming up to a three point or two point setup. As we look lower, you're going to have a 540 or 1000 PTO or mix option. As we look up, you're gonna have your electrical hookups for both implements and then your ISO hookups going to your Gen, Gen 4 or Gen 5 connection command center up top. Before we go into the cab, Ethan's got a little bit more about tires. Yeah, so the 7 Series tractors provide multiple options when you're setting up your tires for either row crop or forage operations. Currently we have a set of duals on this 
tra tractor. However, you can also have a set of singles if that you desire. There's also the option of putting external wheel weights on the uh, rear of your tractor for that ballasting when utilizing the front loader if you're in your dairy or grain operations. And we'll move into the cab and check out the cab options. A couple things to note as we get up on the cab of this tractor is your external battery disconnect that allow you to turn those batteries off and disconnect them for long times that it's sitting or cold weather. Along with our battery panel here that you simply have to lift up and you have access to all of your batteries. Around here we have our def tank that will allow you easy fueling from the ground along with our fuel cap. Beneath the top step of this tractor is an external light that allow you to turn on and off some work lights when you're working on the tractor late at night. As we move up into the top of the cab, we have our external air filter that allow you easy maintenance and cleaning for day-to-day -day, uh, cleaning of the cabin air filter. And I'll give it to, back to Wyatt to check out the signature cab of this tractor. Hey guys, here we are in the signature edition cab of the 7R 230 we've been talking about. There are several cab options. With this one, you're going to have the ultimate visibility with the ultimate cab, making it a signature edition option. Starting from the left, you're going to have your left corner post on your rear side is going to have a wall outlet and your car plug-in outlet. That is going to be in front of your fridge that you can put a lot of items into right behind the buddy seat. You have your standard buddy seat with the same type of material as your regular driver seat. As you look on over to your left, you're going to have foot pegs on the signature edition that's going to allow you to relax once you have auto track on if you're in row crop. You can also use it as you tilt right and have another foot peg. So those are options that you can get with the signature edition. To bring your, your steering wheel forward and back is your, your standard little lever in between your clutch and your brake. You have the ability to telescope this entire steering wheel closer to you and stop at a certain spot that makes more comfort for people with varying conditions of, of arm length. So with that, on your left side, you have your turn signal left and right with your, your high beams and your horn. And your right side is gonna be your windshield wiper controls for everything in front and beside you. So with that being said, there's a lot on this that you could also have a forward and rear reverser on the left hand side if you wanted. As you look onto your right corner post, you're gonna have the ability to have a external display if you wanted to have more functionality between two screens. As we look onto our right post, you're gonna have all of the things that would be on an 8R tractor. So you're gonna have your three different types of transmissions at this, three different types of controls for two transmissions on this machine. You have your E23 and IVT. The IVT has the ability to have your dial like this one does or a Command Pro. With that, you're gonna have your throttle forward and back on bringing it higher or lower and all of your transmission settings that you can hit for custom, manual, or auto will be on the right side of that dial. You have your auto track buttons all the way to your radio controls so that you don't have to be reaching up and right. We'll get to that later. You have your hazards and your buttons all in one spot along with your AC and cab comfort options. With the auto track buttons straight down below it is your front wheel assist options to turn on and off depending on the settings you have. Then you're gonna have your PTO button that is gonna be always yellow. Remember that you can control that PTO with a button here, or you can select a option to turn off a safety and control it from the back left on that, that uh, rear side. As we get away from that side of things of creature comfort items, you have your SCV controls up front, and then you have your loader options as well. So if we had a 700 amp loader up front, we could connect that and can control all of that with this joystick. And you have very, a very huge amount of options that you can set before you get going of how you would like that to be controlled or you can make it very simple. As you look to your right, you're gonna have your radio controls for plugging in your, um, all your USB to control the radio or aux cord. You have more options to plug in your Bale monitors where a lot of guys will have it sticking straight out of your corner post. On your right side here, your furthest right USB is where you're going to plug in all of your updates, prescriptions, anything that's going to the command center here. This has the Gen 4 command center on it at the moment. You also have the ability to charge some of your USB, USB-C items as well on the corner post. As you look to the right, 
you're gonna have on a signature edition a touchscreen radio. With that touchscreen radio, you're gonna have the ability to swiftly transition to your mirrors. So you can have your heated mirrors on on this ultimate visibility package. You can telescope, telescope or you can also be moving them electronically at an angle. Some other creature comfort items that I like to always bring up in the signature edition is to start off with the left side of your chair is going to have all of your options of heating and cooling seats with your vibrating and massaging seat that you can control from your left hand and bringing that and then get it out of your way by closing it. You also have your sun shades that you can bring to your right side and forward. It just adds a lot more comfort in those days where you're going to be in the sun coming up the hill it's in your way. For the most part, this has the ability to also hold your sales manual or owner's manual on the top of this. After the sale, you can have a lot of books fit up into that top. And then you also have the door on and off lights as you come up. With that being said, there's a lot that you can get out of a Senior Tradition cab. And for now, that's everything that you can get on the 7R230. That's everything for the 7R series walk around. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to one of American Implement's 16 locations.